Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're going to be reviewing TAC Systems Moonlight, which is a silica-based spray sealant. So it came to this Got there all too fast All you can hope for Turn right on into dust My sweet luck Where I'm about Won't you help me get my feet back on the ground? My sweet Lord, where am I bound? Won't you help me get my feet back on the ground? Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be reviewing this, this silica-based spray sealant from TAC Systems called Moonlight. So TAC Systems, a little bit of background information on the company. It stands for Tungyong Auto Chemicals, okay? And they were founded in 1995 in Korea. They are a proper chemical manufacturer that formulate and make their own products. So back in 1995, um, you know, it was a different era of car care technology back then. So they're you know, their first kind of products were around shampoos and cleaning your car and all this sort of standard stuff that you use to maintain your car. And over the years, as they probably their expertise grew and new technologies became available, this company were at the forefront, as far as I know, of bringing out and developing these silica or quartz-based ceramic coatings for your car. And that is if you're, if you're into the scene a little bit more, tax systems are known for that okay there are a lot of brands out there that you will know and have very good reputations global brands that have worked with this company to produce formulations okay especially in the kind of silica or the ceramic coatings area so they have a lot of expertise in that particular department so what is tax systems moonlight all about well let's just get the basics covered First of all, so we know it's a spray sealant, so it's a product you spray on your car or you apply to your car, and we'll talk about application, to provide all those kind of protective qualities that you want, a durable coating on your car to give you resistance um, to all the sorts of things that driving and using your car and having it exposed to the elements will create, and also add a nice finish to your car, which is really important. This product is available from our friends Into Detailing, and they are the only distributors of this product in the UK. And I'll put a link from in the description, as always, of where you can go and buy this product from. The product is £29.95 for 250 millilitres, okay? It's £32.95 all in delivered. So this product is a high gloss, durable, water and dirt repelling, silica based spray sealant. And it's, and it's an oil based spray sealant rather than a water based spray sealant, which is really important. And we need to talk about why that's important a little bit later on in terms of application. So next thing is the product claims nine months durability, guys, which is impressive if it can deliver on it. Any product which gets beyond that six month window and can be demonstrated to go beyond six months it's ticked a big box for me um, and then you're looking at what formats a product can go beyond that six months period and then kind of trying to compare them for yourself and then picking which format because that's one very important thing and we're going to talk about it a lot in this video is this is a unique almost next generation format where it's utilizing the proper polysilazane resins that are used in ceramic coatings there are a lot of products out there which do use forms of SiO2, especially a lot of uh, UK based products, but it's a different form of SiO2 and it isn't the pure full blooded, as I call it, ceramic. From using this product and speaking to TAC, and although they're, they're never going to tell you exactly the actual product in there, but and talking to Imran from Into Detailing and from using the product, I am 99% sure, 99.999% sure. They are using the proper polyxylazane with a Z resins that are used in um, the ceramic coatings. So the next, so the next product claim is 20 to 25 percent of this silica product that's being used in the ceramic coatings. Okay, so the ceramic coatings that they sell, I think, typically offer 50 up to 70 percent 
and the more of that that polyxylazine resin you have in there the more the more ceramic you're putting on the car the more protection you have but potentially the harder it is to apply and the more careful it is you know the more care needs to be taken when you're applying it because that resin is obviously the component the long lasting component which is providing all the protection okay so next up application of this product in the link I provided for this product in the description is a good guide on how to um, apply the product. And there's two methods basically. You can either spray the product directly onto your panel and then wipe off, or you can spray the product onto a microfiber applicator and then work that into the panel and then buff off. So I recommend strongly when you apply this, you actually spray it to a kind of short microfiber applicator and apply it to your panel and then buff it away. The reason being is when you're spraying it directly on the panel, which works, but there is a higher chance of the product going in other places that you don't control or see, you know, going off the edge of the panel somewhere onto another part of the car or onto the glass. And you don't want that happening without you knowing about it, because if it dries, it can be difficult to remove. So you get more control. Also, when you're spraying direct onto the panel, um, there is a chance you might miss one of your little pools of spray while you're working in other ones and that can it can cure and dry quite quickly and then it will be more difficult to spread and level that particular squirt if you like. So it's a better method for me to apply via spraying onto the microfiber pad. Wait. So the first and most critical thing I need to get across with this product guys, if you're using it as a standalone product on its own, okay, as a sealant to go on your car, you need to prepare properly. Um, now there's a lot of other products out there that, that use a form of silica that are water based and they're very friendly to apply. You can, you can use some of them on wet cars as rinse aids and it applies the sealant at the same time. Um, you know, you can top up your protection with them and all, all sorts of things like that. But if you're using this as a standalone product, you want to remove any existing waxes or sealants you've got on there and have a clear prepared surface. So I use Lime Prime, which is an abrasive cleaner to remove any other coatings that I had on that particular car. Um, you know, I had the, the wet butter wax on there from the last video, so I stripped all that off with Lime Prime and had a clean surface to apply um, this spray sealant to, really important. So, when you apply this product, the first thing you notice is it feels and looks just like a kind of full-blown ceramic. It, it leaves that kind of oily layer where you can see the lines where you kind of wiped it on. They say buff it off immediately, but I'm in my garage, the panels are cool. I eyeballed it for probably between 30 seconds and um, a minute, just looking for signs of the oils and the solvents to start to lift and then buff it as it's on the turn. So that's what I did here. And hopefully when you do that, you get perhaps slightly better leveling and hopefully, you know, the product actually sticking down onto the, um, onto the clear coat better. But the, the, the thing you don't want to do is leave it for too long to the point where the the unleveled product is kind of starting to dry because what i will tell you about this product guys is the silica in there is hard okay and i did a, a test on my glass or just spray the product on and leave it and have a look at what's left behind and you've got in one spot a high concentration of this product just being left on the glass and once it's dried it is you can't buff it off okay so you needed to machine it off and that's you know, when I looked at that, I knew that they are using the real deal kind of proper silica ceramic stuff. So, so that's a good sign for me. The product is completely translucent when you lay it down. And all you can see are the thin kind of tram lines, as I call them, as you go over it with the microfiber. It buffs away and there is no smearing and there's nothing left on the car at all, apart from a nice kind of crystal gloss, okay? So you're not going to have any problems with kind of residue as long as you make sure you buff properly all the product you put down. So they claim on the labels it's easy to apply. It is easy to apply. The only things that will go wrong with this is if you don't do proper prep and you're, pre you know, you're spraying it on top of dirt and stuff like that, which applies to virtually any product. So don't do that. And the other thing, obviously, is don't over apply it and don't allow it to dry if you over apply it. So I can understand why the instructions are sort of spray on buff off, because it doesn't give that product any, any chance to kind of dry in an unlevel state if you just sprayed a, a, a patch onto the car and allowed it to dry. So that's the thing you've got to be careful of. Don't over apply it, 
and don't allow it to dry without leveling it and buffing it with your microfiber cloth. If you do that, you will not have any problems. Another important point to mention on application, tax system advised, once you've applied this, allow four to six hours for it to properly cure before you wash the car or before the car gets wet. If you don't do that, you, they advise you can get water spotting issues with the water that sits on that product before it's fully cured. And they have another product, which I'll link in there, which you can use to put on after you've applied the ceramic if you wanna kind of circumvent that problem. So next up is the performance of the product, a really important thing. So we are dealing with kind of like the latest generation or the next gen of kind of how you now protect your car in ceramics, okay? There's nothing more cutting edge than those, even though they've been around for a while, there's not any kind of new developments at the moment coming out to kind of usurp them. And people use the silica, the silica-based kind of ceramic coatings because they, they're long-lasting, they're proper long-lasting. The underlying product that you're putting on your car is extremely hard and extremely durable, okay? So you get, with these products, proper durability. You know, the full-blown ceramics can last years depending on how much of that resin they've got in there. Along with that durability and that hardness, you get scratching and mar resistance, okay? Which is one of the reasons they are so popular because they protect your, your clear coat from... From, from scratch damage. Now, not heavy scratch damage, okay? Nothing's gonna do that, but the sort of scratch damage that you will inflict generally from kind of owning a car for years and washing it week in and week out, the coating is kind of taking a lot of the punishment rather than the clear coat underneath is the way I kind of think of it. So the next big question is, this product is kind of coming across as like a, as, as a, light ceramic if you like which is one of the words that Imran used to kind of describe it to me and another big bonus with the product is a lot of people use it on top of existing kind of ceramic coatings to kind of top them up because it's the same underlying technology um, for, in most instances okay we talked about Optimum OptiCoat having a completely different set of technology they use with I think silica carbide based coatings but most of the other ceramic coatings out there are using the same polyxylazane technology and the same underlying product. So one of the big strengths of this product is it works brilliant as a top up for existing ceramic coatings that are there, or you can use it as a standalone product without having any of those application issues around the full blown ceramics. And it's those application issues around the full blown ceramics, which means a lot of times they're only recommended to be installed by kind of professional guys with experience of how to prepare the surface and how to lay them out properly. I'm pretty confident that this product here, you don't need any particular expertise to apply it, but you just need to be mindful of the things I said. Okay guys, so the next thing is we're gonna look at the kind of protective capabilities of this product, the water repellency, the dirt repellency, and the detergent resistance. Now, with all the traditional sealants that are out there, waxes, you know, so all your carnauba based paste waxes or natural based paste waxes and all these syn synthetic sealants, the one thing you get with all of them, okay, they all succeed in giving you like kind of some form of gloss, you know, various forms of gloss and some form of protection. And no matter what kind of format they're using, that level of protection is always really evident on application or immediately after application. So the products tend to succeed there. But where there is a big variance is what those products then go on to do over the coming weeks and months, okay? And maybe even sometimes years now with some of the real, real concentrated ceramics. So we've kind of gone beyond that year barrier now. <coughs> so the first thing, the underlying chemistry of the silica that you are using in this product and you are laying down on your panel, the, the chemical that it's leaving behind is harder and more durable than any other format, format that I can think of, you know, the, the, um, the ethylene acrylics or the, um, you know, the various forms of silicons or your naturally occurring paste waxes. The other formats, I can't think of one of them that can match in terms of the hardness of what it's leaving behind. Okay, so the silica itself, once, you've, once you lay that product out on your panels, creates a hydrophobic kind of barrier and you'll notice it and you'll get all of the water beading characteristics that people really, really like. Now, 
the other products are good at giving that. Paste waxes are, are really good at giving you beading. Um, you know, the, the, some of the forms of those um, amino siloxanes are, are highly water repellent and can give you excellent beading. The, uh, the polyethylene acrylics are not so great on beading and water repellency, although the acrylic they, that they leave down does provide good, good, a good level of durability on some of those sealants and they last out well, so they're quite good. Although they're slightly, you might consider them slightly old school. But going back to the Moonlight, um, the Moonlight sprayed sealant, the difference with those other other products is the performance tails away quicker. Okay, so a Carnuba paste wax generally, you know, there can be a lot of additives in there here that, that can can affect it. But generally, their performance and their characteristics will fail a lot quicker. Um, the one thing with using a silica product that it will stay on that car for a lot longer okay the, the underlying chemical or that resin is hard wearing and there's there's a high percentage of this so what i'm seeing is the product seems very resistant to kind of you know very resistant to washing so the detergent resistance of this stuff seems excellent and that's one of my biggest bugbears with um, paste waxes is they wash away quite quickly and the washes really affect them. This stuff is resistant to being washed. You know, you're not gonna wash it away. It's gonna take a long time for this product to slowly wear off your car, okay? So I'm really pretty confident that nine months durability claims on this product are, are accurate. Okay guys, so the final summary of this. So as always with this reviews, guys, it's really important for me to get across what I think this product is all about. So we are, this product, Tax System Moonlight is offering you a kind of lightweight version, user-friendly, easy to apply version of, of the same underlying technology of what the ceramic coatings are doing. The advantages of that are that you will get a hard wearing, detergent resistance, hydrophobic, glass-like coating on your car, okay? But, but uh, probably less than half the concentration of a full-blown ceramic. That, that can last years. Um, should you be scared when you apply this product? Not if you're if you're a follower of this channel, then you're probably into detailing enough to to understand when when we say you know do the proper prep, make sure you've got a good surface, and make sure you level it before it starts to go hard. That's the only things really you've got to watch out for. So, and also allowing it four to six hours to cure is important. Beyond that. I don't think there's too much that can go wrong. You will see good durability, you will get long-term protection, and it is a good introduction for me into giving you an idea of why ceramic coatings are so kind of popular, but without perhaps introducing any of those um, potential kind of problems, or you know, the ceramic coatings can require a bit of experience to be applied properly. I don't think you need to to be too experienced to go ahead and use this product and get all the benefits from it. So, Tax Systems Moonlight, available from the link in the description. I de definitely recommend it on the channel. You know, we go beyond just saying something's fantastic here. So I've covered quite quite a lot of what I think this is giving you in terms of you know advantages and disadvantages over other products. So I hope you like the review. Be interested in, as always, on everyone else's opinions on this whether you've used it or whether you've got, you know, some people really don't like ceramic coatings and that's a whole different discussion. But, but from using this product, I don't think you need to kind of treat it in your mind as a ceramic coating, but more a kind of product that's using it at a concentration which is safe and it's gonna make a really good, um, good long lasting sealant for your car. Okay guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Next up on the channel, we are gonna be doing a power tool review of the XFE 7-15150 by Flex, AKA the finisher. So this is a dual action polisher with a 15 millimeter throw. It's been highly anticipated and I'm looking forward to getting my hands on this and doing machine polishing on it and as always feeding back to you guys what I think. That's coming up next on the channel. So um, take care, all the best, and we shall see you soon. Bye now. Hey, none of that out here, mate. Let's see the fucking muscles on your thumb come up immediately. What have you been up to?
Get on bloody camera, you deal with me. <laughs> My viewers will think you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is his family viewing this stuff. <laughs> I'll behave myself. Right, you ready? Yeah, go on. We'll just leave that filming. Don't worry, I won't use the audio. <laughs> drop you. Fucking drop you. Now lose all my viewers. I drop my subscription will just drop fucking down to zero. I was going to say that, or it will pick it up in <laughs> <laughs> 